So for today, we're going to be looking at Kepri's horn. This did get asked for quite a while ago. I do apologize for the length of time these videos uh, were being made. It's just a bunch of things have been happening with the Destiny 2 community, so much so that I've been thinking about just switching to other content so that way it's not just Destiny 2 related anymore because it's, it's pretty bleak. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, let me know which other exotics you want me to showcase because Again, we are almost done with all of the exotics. And once we're done, we're going to go back and do like basically a, a remix of just all of the sets that I've made with that exotic or just, I don't know if I'm going to do 10 or just how many I've made. I know Stompy's has quite a bit because I've been using that exotic for years, but let me know what you guys think. Other than that, Kepri's horn, let's, let's look at what it actually does. Solar Rampart. Solar final blows recharge your barricade, which unleashes a blast of solar energy that scorches targets when summoned. So a lot of people have been using this with Strand uh, and other subclasses. It's not subclass dependent, which is really cool. But I did not know it, it was solar final blows recharge your barricade. I did not know that was the case. That is pretty cool considering you always want your barricade. So as much uh, solar kills as you're getting, then you're going to get your barricade pad back really fast. That is really, really cool. Other than that, there's nothing really much to talk about this one. You literally just throw a like a stream of fire when you put your barricade up. And especially when you combine it with uh, Strand, then you have the green wave and the fire wave. So that is really, really cool. As for how it actually looks, I definitely think Kepri's horn looks pretty cool. Uh, but like bug infused with rock a lot because the front has a lot of like rocky textures i guess it's it makes sense considering it's a carapace but i definitely think it looks pretty cool the horns are also pretty cool as for how it shaders i will show you guys how it shaders right now but just be aware that there is a glow to it so if you're not interested in the glow then just be aware of that As for the example set, I ended up going for a bug theme. And it's funny because we just got the spider set from Festival of the Lost. Unfortunately, Festival of Lost, by the time this video goes up, is already over. So hopefully you guys picked it up because the boots would actually be really good instead of the Descending Echo Greaves. That being said, the Descending Echo Greaves still looks cool with it. So it's one of those like, if you have it, it's good. If it's if you don't, if you don't have it, then it's completely fine. But for the shader, we're going to be going with Gambit Jade Stone because the chest piece, which is Will Breaker's Resolve, has that green glow on the chest. That doesn't change color. Same thing with the Mark of the Pit. It doesn't change color. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just lean into that green. And then for the arms, we're going to be using War Newman's Fist. And then for the boots, again, Descending Echo Greaves. So this is a really cool set. This is basically like a bug night warrior type thing. It looks pretty cool. Again, if you do have the boots, from the spider set, it's gonna be way better because I think that makes more of a like a like a hive knight because hive knights have like that type of feet, I guess. In my in my head, they do. I don't remember if they do off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure they do. Either way, it's a really good one, and it's gonna lean more into that bug theme. I know spiders aren't bugs, but you guys get what I'm saying. It'll have that feeling of a bug. So I definitely think this is a really cool set. If I have the picture of the bug set that I made with the Kepri's horn, then I'll have it up right now. If not, I do apologize. But yeah, the spider set is going to be way better for pieces here, aside from just the chest piece and arms. The mark is going to be really cool. The boots are going to be really cool. And that is pretty much it, actually. As for the ornament, it is called the Techno Scarab. I definitely like this one. It looks super, super cool. I do have two sets for you because the first one, I realized I was using a lot of the Season Pass ornaments. So I decided to use some that, or I decided to make another set that didn't use any of them. And I unfor <laughs> and I unknowingly made a really cool, like Rasputin look. So you guys will see that when we see that, but I definitely think this one's cool. Um, if you don't have it, I'm, I don't think it's the end of the world because I do think Kepri's horn base look, looks really cool. And a lot of those pieces to combine it with are more accessible because the Techno Scarab, you definitely want to combine it with technology based type things. So as for how it shaders,
as for the first example set, you guys will notice that the arms, the chest piece, and the boots are all season pass armor sets. That's why I decided to not use this or to make another set because A, Hardened Basilisk from, was from Season of the Seraph, Virtuous Plate was from Season of Dawn, which is old, and then Psionic Strangler was from Season of the Risen. So I unfortunately use way too many pieces that are season pass uh, ornaments. The Binary Phoenix is the only one that's not. That's from Crucible. You can get it right now if you want it. And as for the shader, Omnicrona, because Psionic Strangler Greaves takes the off color and Omnicrona just combines everything into one. So my whole shtick here was armor. A lot of armor, which is why we we were using the Hardened Basilisk. A, it's armor, but also it has pointy bits, which makes sense with the helmet. Uh, Virtuous Plate, because I wanted something bulky at the back and some lights as well and then sonic strangler because again armor so i do apologize that this might not be accessible to a lot of players but the next one does look really cool and can also be used for like a rasputin look if you want so this one is super dope i definitely really like this one be aware that some of these pieces might be really really hard to get specifically the meet midnight exigent gauntlets I don't know if like Ada or even, even if it's in the loop pool, but this is from Escalation Protocol. So I don't know if this one is as accessible as other pieces because the Braytech Snow Boots is the Planetary Mars uh, set, which I don't, I'm pretty sure you can still get this. The Warmind's Avatar chest plate, I'm pretty sure you can get this in either the the world pool i know ada not ada uh zur i think has sold it before and i think someone else oh no dares i think dares of eternity might have it and then techians regalia mark depending when you're watching this video you can get it right now if you're watching this after lightfall has ended and the seasons and whatnot then this one might be hard for you to get but for the shader empirical imperative is what we're using this one also might be hard considering I don't even know if the shader is dropping now. So let me know what you guys think. I definitely like this one, but I will say that I would switch the helmet out for a more Rasputin look. If you guys want to specifically go for a Rasputin look, then you guys can go for the helmet, the uh, insurmountable skull fort that has an ornament that's Rasputin themed, which is called the, uh, I'll actually show you guys right here. So the insurmountable skull fort, it's right here if you guys wanted to do that, because it would be really cool. It's this one right here. It's called the uh, Mind Vault. And it's more SIVA, because that's the SIVA icon, if I remember correctly. But I mean, there's the Season of the Seraph icon right there, or Seraph icon, I should say. So if you wanted to do that, you could definitely do that, and it would look super, super cool. So much so that, give me a second. So here is the look. I definitely think this looks really cool. This is not a insurmountable Skull, skull Fort look video, but I definitely think this looks really cool. Um, I think I have done insurmountable skull for it. Maybe if not, then I'll probably just have this set for it because it does look really, really cool. The only thing I can see people being annoyed about is the yellow, the yellow wiring and whatnot does look really bad. But at the same time, it is from that season, season of the Seraph. So yeah, you, I don't know if you can get this shader anymore considering season of the Seraph was from Witch Queen's, uh, run. I don't know. Either way, there's some other shaders you can definitely use. There's a lot of cool things that you could be doing with this armor set. So, so let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. We have some other exotic videos coming up. Specifically, we have the the insurmountable. No, specifically the acting war rig. I got asked to do that one. So we're doing that one for the hunter ones. Those are ones that I chose myself just because I wanted to do them. But let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.